Hello, Leo. It is time for your 2020 predictive read. Leo, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So check your charts. This could resonate with you. Good deal. If not, don't worry about it because it's just a predictive thing in this chick. This chick. This shit could change at any point in time. Just like how I changed by letting all my cards fall on the floor. That's nice. I'm not even going to read all of them. Kitten, don't you even dare lay on those, you crazy, crazy lady. You. Yes, you're crazy. Look at you go. Alright, so let's see. Bitch, no, get off the table. Nah, you are even not even playing that game today. You little heathen you. Go do something. This kitten, I swear. Okay. So, Leo, how you're starting out. Coming out of 2019 is the Prince of Wands, or the King of Wands, which is your energy. And you are nettled. You are being kind of man-childish, being very selfish, very... How could I say... Uh, narcissistic but like not because you're a narcissist but because it's just your energy right now like your bad qualities is coming out as you're leaving 2019 right your beginning quarter we got an empress reverse who's nettled bitter not happy second quarter eight of cups reverse probably leaving shit behind because like there's no point in working in something that isn't going to work third quarter Knight of Wands, not doing dick though. Not taking any action. And the fourth quarter is the Devil Reverse. Mmm, coming out of that. A bad, bad juju energy. Could be dealing with another Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, if you will. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. So let's see about this first quarter, Leo. God bless America. Alright, so let's see. So first off... Someone's not using their intuition with the High Priestess. Could be a Pisces. You got three and I'll give it to you. Um, you or your counterpart could not be like theorizing or calculating things the right way. Might not be seeing something the way you do. Might be losing her patience and wanting to separate because she doesn't see anything going anywhere. For a second quarter, this is indolences. I looked this up. It means laziness or some shit, right? Maybe it just feels like this shit hasn't been worked on because somebody was lazy in the second quarter. Uh, but keeping their feelings about shit to themselves a little bit. Unearthly mystical could also be with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is all dealing about walking away from shit, though. But... There's indecision here. Someone doesn't know where to run to, so they're running somewhere else. Like, Leo, it looks like they're running away from you because of the way you're leaving 2019. It's, like, vicious. This person doesn't know what to do, so they're kind of running over here, and that's why nothing's getting worked on. I feel like someone's terrified of you. I'm laying one more down on that. Yeah, treasure discovery, this is not. This is not something that... It's no bueno. It's not going to um, be fruitful for anybody in this venture. I really feel like someone's running away from you because they're scared of you, Leo. Knight of Wands, not taking any action. Not getting any of that booty. Um, waiting for something. Coming up with excuses or reasons in third quarter. Could be you. Could be someone else. Um... In order to get out of the crazies, in order to get out of a delusion, in order to feel less crazy. I'll drop one more. Fuck it. We'll do three for all of them. Might as well. 
with a queen of coin who is blissful and comfort. No, she's not. <laughs> Leo! It seems like in the third quarter, you're not taking any action. Well, you're doing the whole kitty butt wiggle thing, right? Where, like, you're sitting there watching your prey ready to pounce, and it's like, you're trying to be cunning when it comes to some loose lunacy and delusions with a queen of coin. Could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Could also be with an unfaithful spouse, because that is the position of her card. Could be... Mm -hmm. But it's like she does, she's not very... Um, a lot like the Emperor, she's not really motherly right now. She's actually kind of being greedy. And then we got the Devil card over here, so it definitely could be Capricorn involved in this last quarter. Someone separating from the Devil. Or a bad, bad tie. Page of Coins definitely could be in her time involved. Capricorn. Expression. Message. She's delivering. She's running to do that shit, too. Possibly to you. Or possibly to whoever. This shit is not working. Yeah, Leo, I feel like someone... If you haven't broken up with somebody or some shit, yeah, it might happen next year. It seems like someone puts up with you or you put up with somebody for another year. Or some shit. I don't know, but it's like... I just get this feeling of fear. Which is kind of scary. I don't know why anyone would be afraid of you. How are you going into 2020? Yeah, you're going in with a bad you're going out of 2019 with a bad energy and you're going into 2020 with um some turmoil and disorder, a lot of I feel like arguments and fighting. Which is also right here too. With someone running away from you. Or maybe that's you running away to that person for decisions because you don't know how to deal with your home life. Maybe it's your insecurities. What's up with the first quarter? Got two right there. There could be failure when it comes to the lovers right here. This Empress isn't... I don't think she's happy, Leo. That might be you. That might be your person. In the second quarter, something's going to end with this shit. This shit ends. Done. Over with. Death card. Scorpio energy. And we're here in the third quarter. There's going to be a truce called with the Four of Swords. A break of some sorts. A time to rejuvenate, relax, whatever. Give yourself some rest. In the last quarter of the year... Everything just feels fucky and it ended wrong. I don't think you like how this cycle goes. How 2020 ends for you, Leo. The Hierophant. Commitment, loyalty, all that shit. Might be feeling like you're going to be... I almost feel like you're going to understand things a little more in the end. 
Like, do you feel like your world's all apart? Or the world you have ended, but it's like you learn something, I feel like. Because Iverfin talks about lessons too. You know, in like the Crow deck, he is a sage or a mentor, and he might be teaching something right here, and you might have to learn something. Or maybe this whole experience is for you to gain some sort of knowledge you didn't have before. I'm not sure, but that's what I got for your year, year, man. It sounds rough. Everybody sounds as rough. Like, but I will see you guys later, and I love your faces. Bye-bye.